adolescent ignoramus is manifesting the same stupidity that the entire Democratic caucus reflects. They don't like the rule of law because they want to decide everything like a kangaroo court. The elites always win. Queen of hearts, man. You know, it's over. You're dead. You're guilty. No evidence necessary. So the Democrats who used to just love process and procedure and the rule of law, they are literally subverting the rule of law in what really amounts to a seditious attack on the government. It really is sedition. What they're doing. Do, you know, do you know why they get away with this? Why they do this? It really is the fault of the press. The press oh, enables God. it. Yeah. They can say anything they want. The Washington Post is not really they a could, newspaper they anymore. They could also it? be I mean, as corrupt as really they want. Pay. It used to be a real paper. They could also be as corrupt as they want, and they don't get investigated. Right. Nobody cares. Nobody worries. But for years, Obama had a pay-for-play operation in his administration that is disgusting. And one of the reasons they're fighting so hard, if, if Biden comes out, so does Clinton come out, and about three others. This goes right to the top of the Obama administration, well, and and the administration Obama is wanted to I didn't have scandals. It'll be the most scandal-ridden administration in our history. Obama, Obama didn't care informed. about ethics. He didn't care, otherwise it wouldn't have happened. That's right. A vice president should have been stopped from doing this by a president who had the slightest bit of integrity. But a Chicago Paul like Obama, pay for play, eight times, millions of dollars for your vice president, uh, and hundreds of millions for your secretary oh, of state. Foundation. This was they all... just bought the offices. Yeah. Uh, we, the offices. All right, we'll stay there. This is a 